Today is June 21st, 2012, and we're going to put Marcus on the poly training seat. So the past three days consecutively, when we put him in the blue chair, he would poop. And it's always been pretty consistent around um, 6.30 to 7 o'clock at night, right before his bedtime. I just heard him fart. The thing with the, with the bathroom is there's too many things around them to act as a distraction. Today I also, uh, earlier I ordered a uh, the top down, bottom up, bottom up cordless blinds. These the blinds we currently have in the restroom has a cord, a dangling cord. Marcus right now is still wearing his diaper. We just want him to, to get comfortable. We're taking this uh, baby steps a little bit at a time. I don't think he wants to anymore. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I think, I think just leave him. He's struggling. If he's trying to hold on to you, then. Uh... Yeah, he's trying to hold on to me. Okay. Oh. Good try. Good job. Good job, Marcus. Well, let's put him back in the blue chair and see yes. if he poops. Okay, let's go. So now we transition transitioned him to this blue chair. Hopefully he'll poop. It can take anywhere up to 15 minutes. I'm not going to actually film the whole, the whole 15 minutes. It's not even five minutes I can see him struggling trying to poop. I can hear him grunting. Are you done? Can you go sniff it? Please. <laughs> yes. Okay, he pooped. He pooped, he pooped. Now we gotta quickly change him before it leaks. So hopefully every day we're we're gonna first put him on the pie train seat and if he doesn't poop or he fusses, then we're moving to this blue seat. And slowly, we hope to familiarize him with the uh, the toilet, and we wish. Oh man, look at him! I hope my goal is to pie him by age one. Nice job, Marcus.